You ever wonder why your remote quits working, you've changed the batteries, and you're still having trouble with it, and you're having to squish the buttons down as hard as you can, they're not working. And so then, you know, you give up, then you go ahead and install a whole, or, or get a whole new key fob. You know, whatever that costs. That could be hundreds of dollars. It's usually, a, usually at least $200 or more, because then you have to have it programmed to your car and all that. When really, all it is are these little uh, tabs back here that just get old and they start to get tarnished. You can clean them with uh, rubbing alcohol and, and a Q-tip and, and gently rub them out. But what happens is the constant pushing on these things, these things are just glued on there and so they'll, they'll fall off. And so what I found uh, a website that had uh, replacement ones, you know, and now look at, look at the difference. Look at that. Shiny, clear, and everything. Seven dollars. That's it. Found it on eBay. There's a key fob or key website that had those. So, you know, normally you'd take it out and swap out your battery, and that still would cause an issue. And here's the little the buttons that push down on Now, this just pushes on that, and then you just push it all back into your key fob here. Uh, or you all back together to make your key fob. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take an eraser and I'll, and I'll rub these and get these all clean. Then I'll clean them up and then I'll take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then wipe it clean and then be good to go. And then you can also double check your battery for uh, terminals and gently press those up to make a better connection on your battery. But normally it's just this. Like here I could probably salvage this. But I don't want to take the risk of it and be um, cleaning it. And then you put it back in there and, and one of these slip off of there and it just one of these buttons don't work. So this will solve the problem. But I just wanted to share this on how simple it is to repair your key fob without having to spend a bunch of money. So again, you take an eraser. You just, you know, rub these pretty you know pretty good and then get these all cleaned up make sure there's no eraser debris on it wipe it down take a little rubbing alcohol on a q-tip and then clean it up one last time make sure it's all clean and then piece this thing back together and then you got I mean I'm telling you I I had two of these and I did it to mine and now my wife's uh, key fob has went out and it makes them uh, immediately it's like having a brand new key fob for seven dollars instead of paying hundreds of dollars. And that's about it.